jam into yourself. Argentina. I started to grow up in Argentina at least. And they were quite popular, not so much in England, except for that one song. Which isn't this one.
to a point, I used to play rock guitar all the time. <laughs> and I was sick and tired of doing, you know, here we go, another solo. <laughs> so I decided to write a song um, based on a waltz. And the original one, that I, version, had absolutely no guitar in it whatsoever. I just, um, I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to do George Martin, you know. And I'm going to use all strings and stuff, and uh, so I did. And it was, you know, it was all right, I liked it. And then, um, some years later, I dedicated myself, dedicated, to uh, playing acoustic guitar mostly. Nearly all the time, in actual fact. And uh, so I changed the arrangement. Uh, I nicked something that you might recognise at the beginning. Um, talking about playing the electric guitar all the time, that song I just did, you remember that one I left you all? I think it was that one. Oh, golly, no, that's not right. Yeah, that's normally electric guitar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, sometime after I dedicated doing nothing but acoustic guitar work, some fella, venue owner, who knew me from the yesteryear when I was electric guitar, he used to call myself Rock of Ages, A to Z of rock music, wanted me to bring the guitar and just do that Parisian walkways. So I did. And I felt like an idiot because it was just one finger all the way through <laughs> with a backing track. And then I realised it dawned on me that most of the heavy lifting in electric guitar takes place in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and if you pull the right face and do the right moves, like that, and I'm like, sorry, some, you know, some classic ones, <laughs> then you're feeling it. <laughs> it's an F, but it's faking it. I mean, and I felt such, I felt like an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not knocking electric guitarists, yeah, but it is only a toy. I said that. And if anyone's tuning in, oh, that's not right. What about? And then here we come. They're all going to come out. What about him? What about him? What about him? Let's take a ride before school's 
down and it's night shift again. We may not live long, you never can tell. So let's throw back our hairstyles and live for today. I get a nail. Did you hear that? told me that if you I play in pubs and clubs by the way a lot. Not so many working men's clubs, but other types of clubs, you know. Cricket clubs, rugby clubs, golf clubs. And someone told me uh, a couple of years, maybe a bit more than a couple of years ago, pre-COVID, that if you um, write your own songs, which I did, although I wasn't playing them, I weren't playing them. You know the next sound. Um, <laughs> but if you did them live, you get paid twice. Well, <laughs> I took it to heart. And um, so now I, I might do a, a cover that everyone knows, but I, I bang in some instrumental that I've made. And um, ka-ching, what do you got? And it's all of 30p. <laughs> and you have to wait a year before you get it. But, see this here. This, that was bought on the corner strength of a check that I actually got from PRS, which is the performing rights people. And uh, my old PA, bless her heart, now my old PA died. And just as it died, we got a check. And I went, ah, there you go. Had I not taken his advice, I would have been playing with a much smaller piece of kit, maybe, or just like, on the streets. Busking. Now we're busking. I financed a uh, 50 birthday, 50th birthday, so eight years ago, on busking. We didn't have much money. My missus wasn't happy about that. <laughs> so I took to my bike, I live in Hull, by the way, and I cycled to Beverly and back several days and sat in the sunshine with my ruffs on, you know, any old, but I had a poncho because, as I said, I was raised in Argentina. And I have a poncho from Argentina back then, and it's all full of holes because it's old and, and uh, the mites have been at it, etc. But it covers a multitude of scenes. You know, the sun. And there I sat. In, have you ever been to Beverly, by the way? It's not there. It's in the sunshine. Doing in the main instrumentals. So, hurrah for busting. And because I was doing kind of um, Latino and some Greek stuff, you know. Right opposite, there was a travel agent, and they loved that. <laughs> they, and they buy me all kinds of teas and coffees and cake. And I was sat on my little PA, uh, which was battery operated, and which had gone on the back of a fold up bike. I had a guitar that was in a, too big for a, a small case that I had it sticking out, you know, so I must have looked right side it. Well, as somebody once said, Paul Starman once said, I do it for your love. And I did. Mm. And she had her 50th birthday, and I was out of the doghouse. Rah, rah, rah. This is called Sweeping in the Garden. Whatever I do, I don't know. Whatever you show me to do 
but that's a long time gone. And you let me well, I'll just keep on, you just keep on, but I'll just keep on. Hurry it up, sweep it under the carpet. Hurry it up, you like the neighbors to know. Whatever is wrong with me, I don't know. Maybe too much static to let the dream glow. Whatever is left, I'm living up to you. Cause there's nothing to do with you if you're not doing it. Unless we admit that we were wrong But that's a long time gone To let me well I'll just keep on I'll just keep on We'll just keep on Covering it up Sweeping it under the carpet Covering it up One like your neighbors you know I'm waiting for a political party to come and give me a tug so they can use that and just change slightly to their covering up. They're sweeping it on the... I don't know, I don't care who does it, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. So, I'm going to do a cover. What do you want me to do? Favourite bands? Give me three. Five, four... Kinks. Kinks. Okay, Kinks. who else? John Mayer. Eagles. Eagles, right? Queen. Queen. Eagles. I've got a story about them at all. So I did this um, finger style thing. <laughs> So I did this, the whole thing, I spent ages arranging it. It wasn't a singy song, it was instrumental. I put it on Facebook and it got loads of loads of um, hits, hits. And I was like, oh wow, that's great. And in those days I used to just record little videos of just the guitar like, in black and white. I thought, they don't want to sing face, plus, you know, just a sort of like a guitar, I thought. Anyway, so loads of hits, was great. And then a couple of days it disappeared. And then I got a letter from, first of all from Facebook saying, mm, you know, and then from the Eagles management saying, if you do that, more or less with we'll great legs and other things. <laughs> Not the right anyway, so I kept it. Obviously, it's a trophy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm in communication with the uh, Eagles management. <laughs> so that's how that goes. <laughs> then I watched their own documentary. And I'm going, yeah, you wouldn't let anybody else do your covers, would you? I'm waiting for them. If I can see them doing a cover, I'm going to jump on them. <laughs> no, not really. It is what it is. Anyway, one of them dropped dead. Not saying anything. <laughs> My favourite eagle fellow, by the way, was uh, this guy. Anybody who knows who this is going to be? The Corps and the Eagles. Several years ago, well, uh, more 
and six, for about a period of three, I used to drink. to gigs like here for instance you don't have to pay for your drinks so what are they thinking and there's a really good uh, kind of like an eagles tribute but also um, kind of country rock band in her you know every town's got one of them all the best players are in it so anyway i kept on trying to convince them look i'll be your joe walsh <laughs> and then your guitar I found out you can play when you're drunk, because it's easy. <laughs> anyway, so I stopped drinking. I never actually went to an AA meeting or anything like that. But it was closed, and I still can. I just don't.
don't even try to understand Just find a place to make a stand To keep I'm standing on the corner of waves around So soon as you find a side to see Imagination, so it works. The king was in the neighborhood, look at us and fun. Thank you. 
Second, I do, I do two gigs in, on Sunday uh, in two different pubs, and in this one particular one, every fortnight, there at, at about I, got, I start at three and I finish at nine. So I come around six o'clock. There's always a group of people come in, and there's a couple of girls with them. All I can hear all night long, unless I do it. And I love so, and then they make it up because they don't because they're drunk possibly and they start making so don't cry or whatever <laughs> so i can do that anybody else in the other band uh, chuck them in because i'm here till half nine no i'm not yes i am <laughs> Ten cc anything else lindy's farm oh no can't do that it was, it was too folky i mean i ought to but I, I never got it and i don't think lindy's farm traveled to south america <laughs> some you know some stuff did jeff rotel traveled eventually but it was eventual. People didn't like, oh, yeah, forget everyone knew who Jethro Tull was. Plus, they didn't call it Jethro Tull. They called it, God, I've been telling what they called it in Argentina. Heterotul. <laughs> Tell me that's not true. Heterotul. <laughs> Heterotul. What do they call um, the Beatles? Beatles. <laughs> yeah. And what about what about that run to the hills? Run to the hills. You don't mind them. You don't mind them. Mind It's like the Pope. You know how the not this particular one and just popes in general. They all tend to be like super bilingual, don't they? Trilingual, quadruple income, and uh, so they read in English, even though they may be German or Italian. In this case, Argentine. And it goes something like e. Um, ready? Abi, do, be, ere, to, dai. Bless, iau, al. And everybody's like, whoa, that's the Pope. You <laughs> <laughs> don't get to become Pope for nothing. He knows. Does anybody know Fleetwood Mac stuff? Yeah. Yes, no? Yeah. Listen to the wind upon the water. Listen to the wind on the air.
try to sleep, but sleep don't come. Just as I begin to go, and I remember how it was so bright. I will take you in the darkness, do this handle in the night. with private education and everything. My parents, they just loved it. <laughs> I, dropped, I dropped out of uni and obviously I uh, hit on the career of being a record shop for a minute. Not good. I enjoyed it though, to be fair, and I met a lot of nice people. But then things changed. My Rimmer friend that we had in common, Anne and I, I met him there. <laughs> Yours. And you can probably hear influences of us. Oh, shut up, don't say it, otherwise, not can't. 
Now, on cue. Clues is gold. 
What was he thinking? Remember it all. Turned out, I kind of picked up, and I can do it, you know. So, if you want me to do some Neil Diamond, let us know. Because then you can tell me, no, you're wrong there, Keith. You don't sound nothing like it. Yeah, do it, yeah. Do it. What's your favorite Neil Diamond song? I hope it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my favorite one is Little Known. It's, um, it could go something like Again. 
you Does not envy, it does not boast 
It is not time.
the miraculous in my life. So, on end. See me in your mirror, know that everything I will not forget the way you made me feel. Badly. Why not believe? I reach out to you, reach out to me. Or email, and I'll send them to you for free. Okay. First one's free, of course. 